The Sun are the world's oldest people, having lived in South Africa for at least 20,000 years. The name Sun is generally used to refer to a diverse collection of hunter gatherers who have historical and linguistic ties in Southern Africa. The Sun were also known as Bushmen, although this term has since been dropped due to its negative association. There are numerous different Sun groups, they do not have a collective name for themselves and are referred to as Bushmen, Sun, Basawa in Botswana, and Ovayamba, which means wealthy people in Namibia. The word Bushman was taken from a Dutch word, Bosiman, which means bandit or outlaw. Sun people lives in Botswana, Namibia, Angola, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Lesotho, and South Africa, and they speak cool or two. <laughs> The Sun populated South Africa thousands of years before the arrival of the Bandu speaking tribes and the European people. Sun people used to be semi nomadic, traveling periodically within specific areas based on the availability of resources, including water, game animals, and food plants. The Sun are evolved from early Stone Age ancestors and are unrelated to the Bandu tribes. Seasonal game migration between mountain range and coast were tracked by clans and loosely related family groups. They lived in caves, rocky outcroppings, and temporary shelters. Even though they have massive knowledge on both flora and fauna, these migrating people do not domesticate animals or cultivate crops. Thousands of plants and their purposes were classified by the Sun people, ranging from dietary to medicine, magical to recreational and fatal. Sun languages are distinguished by implosive consonants or clicks and belong to a very different language family from Bandu languages. In general, there are two distinct and recognizable languages, the Khoi Khoi and the San, from which various dialects have developed. San communities are made up of tiny movable groups of up to 25 men, women and children. At a particular period of the year, groups of people get together to exchange news and gifts, make marriage plans and celebrate social events. Unfortunately, most of these beautiful ancient languages were never preserved, as little is known about the various dialects of the Sun people. The Sun people believed in a single mighty god as well as a number of smaller gods. Offerings were made to ancestors who had died and some cultures worshipped the moon. They thought that the soul went to God's temple in heavens after death. Some Sun think that tilling the soil is a violation of God's established world order. Sun people have a rich oral heritage and many of their stories including stories about the gods that instruct listeners about what is considered moral sun behavior. A ritual dance that serves to heal the community is very important in all communities. For all of those who dance, dance is a collective effort that transforms spiritual strength and energy into healing. The force is harnessed in both men and women's tummy, with many of them falling into trace. This ability can be utilized to heal both physical and mental illness. <laughs> 